Hello, 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 welcome to Firearms of America and today we have another review for my ultimate survival belt section and today I have this very awesome bull hide belt. This is brown stitch steel core max thickness gun belt from bull hide belts and and if you don't have time to watch the whole review let me tell you guys I absolutely love love this belt this is definitely not going to be the last belt from bullhide as you can see made in the USA yes 100% leather uh, well here you also have obviously the stainless steel core that they're using because this is a steel core uh, for some extra strength for some extra stiffness but let's get into the review if you have time to watch the whole review let's get into it so as i already said this review is specifically for my ultimate survival belt section basically you know i do believe that belt is one of those things as a, it's not just a closing accessory right it's more of a tool on its own right and it it it, it might really be that life saving tool in a real survival situation so i always advocate for having a good belt on you and because this is a firearms channel uh <laughs> you know most of you guys are carrying either you know inside the waistband or you you know concealed carry whatever whatever your setup is carrying setup that is uh gun belt obviously can be something very very convenient uh, to have so let's get into it seven different criteria criteria number one comfort level so this is 100% leather uh, absolutely beautifully made and the comfort of this belt I absolutely love it even though it is a max thickness which to be specific this is actually a quarter of an inch so yes it is it is it is pretty thick as you can see now uh, whenever it comes to the weight obviously this extra thickness and of course the steel core um, does add up to the weight so it is on the heavier side not much this particular one is uh, this one is 34 this one is size 34 and as you can see it's 11.3 so it's definitely on the heavier side not that crazy you know obviously the the more in size you go the the heavier it gets and the width of the belt is one and a half inch now obviously with the thickness and with the width and everything with the steel core you're getting the strength you're getting the stiffer support and as you can see in the video which let's move on to the criteria number two support uh the gun that i'm showing my sr9 with extra magazine here it is and let's see what it is it's pretty heavy it's pretty heavy so <laughs> yeah 47.2 ounce and as you can see it holds on very very nicely now like i said this is a heavy gun on its own plus i do have extra magazine as you can see in the video uh but but if you're carrying a lighter this does an absolutely amazing job uh even even with uh, with the heavier gun but most of the times most of the gun setups they are much lighter than that so definitely great support all right let's move on to the criteria number three which is the durability now this is 100 percent leather so you're definitely getting uh that durability of leather plus like i said it does feature the stainless steel uh spring steel core uh which you can probably see here it's about one inch thick maybe a little bit less you can probably see it in the camera it does not go all the way it's not the full length but it goes up to where the holes 
begin. Now, as you can see, let's move on to the uh, criteria number four features. There are nine sizing holes. This particular one is uh, size 34. Yes, it is 34, which is actually labeled. Now, it does come already, you know, as, as everything is assembled. So whenever you do get the package, you take it out of the package, you put it on, that's it, ready to go. There is no assembly that is required. However, if you do want to mess with the buckle, so replace the buckle, they do uh, bull hide. You can check on their website. They do have... Um, a good choice of different buckles if you want to upgrade uh, it does feature the chicago style screws as you can see here which uh, you know are easily removed with a screwdriver and then you can replace this so pretty def definitely definitely pretty cool now the buckle itself is a stainless steel buckle uh Feels very good, great quality. Again, I'm gonna mention it again, this is made in the USA, which I know a lot of you guys definitely, definitely gonna appreciate. Uh, now, the locking mechanism, as you know, this is your regular belt, obviously, you know, so you do get regular locking mechanism for the belt. Nothing crazy over here. And of course, to mention briefly the looks, uh, I absolutely love it. I love the way it is made. Like I said, as, as soon as you take it out of the packaging, the quality of the build is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. You know, this is definitely not going to be the, my last belt, uh, which I most of the times use for my work as a max thickness. I work as a te technician, so I wear it, wear um, a few attachments on my belt uh, besides my concealed carry. I, I carry my tool set, uh, but I will definitely get one for just like a dress belt, just a good leather dress belt from, from Bullhide because I absolutely love this one. So let's talk about the criteria number five really quickly, the balance of application. Basically, if this really was your last survival belt, would this be a good option? I think it's definitely really one of the best options because first of all, this is... The looks of this belt is just your regular leather belt, right? So you, you can wear it anywhere you want. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to grocery store, and you're not going to look conspicuous in any way, right? Compared to, for example, if you were wearing, uh, you know, something like a, a tactical belt, right? Something that gives you away and kind of attracts attention, right? <laughs> this is definitely not it. This is this is very subtle, uh, very everyday looking like belt with obviously a lot of extra, with some extra thickness, with a steel core, you know, durability and all that sort of stuff. So I think with that being said, this is definitely, definitely a great option uh, as your ultimate survival belt because here what really matters is something that you can wear uh, more often and in more places right so because if if this really is what you're wearing on everyday basis this is probably what you will end up in a survival situation uh, so definitely a great option so really quickly about the um, criteria number six which is the sizing like i said this is the size 34 with the max thickness uh, belts, they do go up to size 54, so the max size is size 54. Now, without the steel core, you can get up to size 60. Keep that in mind. Now, whenever it comes to the sizing holes, like I said, adjustment holes, there are nine of them, and they are spaced almost a little bit less than one inch. Yeah, they're definitely less than one inch. About about 0 0.75 as you can see mm, camera is getting blurry but uh so you 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 can definitely get it adjusted uh close you know typically in the belts we have one inch space apart this is a little bit less than one inch so you do have a little bit more of adjustability and of course the criterion number seven the very last one is the price now the price currently of this particular belt is 79.99 uh you can get this belt without the steel core uh the same it looks practically it not practically it looks exactly the same the thickness 
Uh, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is there isn't a steel core in it and you can get it $10 cheaper if you want to, you know, if you don't need a steel core, if you don't need that extra stiffness, uh, $69.99. Uh, definitely, definitely a fair price compared to a lot of other belt manufacturers out there. Um, and considering that they, they make these belts here in the United States of America, definitely a huge plus. So, uh, I put the link in the description below, check it out. If you do have any recommendations or suggestions for a good ultimate survival belt for me to check out, definitely let me know. As I've been saying it before, I am preparing for my very first episode of Ultimate Survival Adventure. And uh, so far I do have a few options for Ultimate Survival Belts. Uh, we'll see, maybe I'll get this one. Maybe I will get another belt from Core that I recently reviewed uh, for that Ultimate Survival Adventure episode one. But this is definitely gonna be one of the choices that I will do in one of the episodes because I I absolutely love this belt. Uh, thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms of America and I'll see you guys in the next video.